Good morning, North Nova. We would like to start today by acknowledging that we are on Mi'kmaq, the unceded and ancestral territory of the Mi'kmaq people. We ask that you please rise and remove your hats for the playing of the Mi'kmaq Honor Song. your North Nova News. I'm your host, Damon Pence. I'm Serenity Bass. And we are going to start things off with your words of the week. Hi, hi, hi. North Nova, what's your missed away? So for the word of this week, it's suck. And in Mandarin, that's wazi. Wazi. Goye, North Nova. Nidal, see Michael Francis. Today, make my word of the week is biskahan, which means socks. My name is Pacific, and today we're going to see how to say socks in Swahili is socksy. Bye! Thanks for that, words! Now we're going to send down to your ANS segment. Hujamba North Nova. This is Rylan back with another ANS segment on this week's North Nova News. This week, we've got a black actor to talk about. This week, we're going to be talking about the one and only James Earl Jones. Jones is a renowned actor and one of the most recognizable voices in show business. Jones was born on January 17th of 1931 and originally had a childhood stutter. He would go on to fight and overcome this stutter with the help of poetry and acting. Jones would go on to have many successes in cinema with his roles such as King Jaffa in Coming to America, Mufasa in Lion King, and probably most notably Darth Vader in the Star Wars series. James Earl Jones continues to make an impact on the world of Hollywood and has left a long-lasting impact on the world of cinema forever. Thanks for your time, North Nova. Hua Harry. Thanks for that, Ryland. Now we're going to sit down to your sports report. What's up, North Nova? I'm here with your new sports support, and I'm Ethan. And I'm Abby. This week for sports news, Molly and the Unified Track Team pushes further, as well as the girls' softball had a great spring season, so congrats to those girls. Also, in other news, um, the boys' and girls' rugby teams are finally done their seasons. Fortunate losses, but it was a good season, guys. You guys it's fought hard. <laughs> anyway, that's all for your sports this week. See you next time. Bye, North Nova. Thanks for that, sports. Now we're going to send down to your music report. 
We got turned into socks, man. What's up, North Nova? Singing music report. I'm Ashton. I'm Clark. I'm Georgia. Yeah, so Shrek auditions are now over. Mm. Thank you, everybody who came out. Great job, guys. Really cool. It's going to be Shrek Tastic. Anyway, thanks. Uh, we have a concert June 7th. Come out or not, like. You do come, you. Come out. Yeah, come out. Come out. The non-academics are also on the 9th. Make sure to come out and support everyone. Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? Wow, I didn't know you could yodel. <laughs> that was really lame. That's all, North Nova. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for that music. Now we're going to send it down to your word on the street. I'm Tegan DeBreeze from Sesame Street, and I'm looking for the word on the street. Hey, little Adola. I am today with Tegan DeBreeze to ask, well, what's your favorite type of sock? Short socks or long socks? Well, Tegan, I think my favorite type of socks are definitely short socks. I don't know why, but oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks for that. Now, we're gonna sit down to your joke of the week. Why does Donkey Kong have to go to the dentist? He has tooth decay. I gotta stop monkeying around. Thanks for that joke. Now we're gonna send it down to GSA. All right, so my name is Amy. I'm Ash. And we're from the GSA to announce your Spirit Week next week for, for um, Pride Month. So on Monday, we're going to have a flag raising um, but from 10 to 10.15. 10 um, as well, we will have candy gram sales. Those sales will continue into Tuesday. Um, and we'll also have pronoun and flag buttons at lunch for free. Uh, Tuesday, again, is candy grams at lunch again and Pride face painting and tattoos. On Wednesday, we're going to have rock painting at lunch um, in the Teen Health Center. Thursday, um, we're going to have a lunch and learn for teachers at lunch in the Presentation Center. Um, this is just to tell the teachers about our stories and maybe how to, um, maybe they could just learn a little bit about it. Uh, Friday at lunch, we're having a pride walk and picnic at lunch and the candy grams will be delivered last class. And you can dress up in your pride, whatever sexuality you are. As well, during that day, we'll help freezies after the pride parade. Thanks for that, GSA. Now, we're going to send down to yoga. Hi, I'm Kara. And I'm Erin. For our service project, our Yoga 11 class has chosen to fundraise and spread awareness for Ewing sarcoma. Five years ago, one of my teammates' brother was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma which is an aggressive cancer that grows on bone or soft tissue. To raise money for Ewing Cancer Foundation of Canada, he began making wooden bots made of wooden blocks and hockey laces, which became known as Ollie Bots. In 2019, Oliver passed due to the rare cancer, but his family still continued the Ollie Bot Foundation. In an effort to help other families like the Smiths, we will be making a donation in Oliver's name with the money we collect next week. So, on Monday, June 6th, we'll be selling popcorn at lunch, and then on Wednesday, June 8th, there'll be a bake sale at lunch, and finally, on Friday, June 10th, we'll be selling lemonade, also at lunch. Thanks for that, Yoga. Sadly, we have no Nat Knows this week, but we'd like to take some time to reflect for all the things Nat does for us on and off screen. That's all for this week, North Nova. See you next time. Last time you used a public restroom? How are you doing this stuff? We know you're not pregnant. Ah! You know how expensive that equipment is. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I can't. 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 I can't.
I'm here, yeah. now you're here. Nothing can go wrong, cause I am right where I belong. Don't you hate a dirty sock? Maybe get a little bit of grease and grime in your socks? Hi, I'm Grayson, former car salesman. I love cars. Unfortunately, in this current gas market, not a lot of people are buying cars. But do you want to know what I love more than selling cars? A clean sock. That's why I've invented an all new sock cleaner. Made with military grade super clean and sanitizing chemicals, I've created a sock cleaner capable of giving you the best sock wearing experience of your life. And that's not all, it even works on stools. Keurig. With only four easy payments of $29.99, this amazing new sock cleaning product can be yours. Just look at those clean pairs. Buy one today. Oh, well, I don't know about you, Michael, but I'm feeling a bit damp here. If you want to hop in the dryer with me. Michael?